What better way to end your week with a couple more instructional videos on technology? I know you couldn't wait. Here I am, Mr. Burek, going to talk to you a little bit about some apps slash web programs that I think would uh, be helpful for you. But before I do that, I have been instructed that I have to give some shout-outs. So, Abby Stombres, Cassie Stanton, I've done my duty. Official shout-out to you, too. Digiphoto 2, 7th Hour. Have to give a shout-out to you. Uh, U.S. Military History was instructed to do that. Love you all already. Mrs. Burek, love you, too. Hockett, McCallum, that's all I need to say about that. Some things I think would be helpful, if you don't want to use Google Presentation, there is Prezi. I'm not going to say a lot about this because I feel like this is a big, you know, pretty popular website to use. I do have an instructional video on Student Center on how to work Prezi. Next, Kindle Cloud Reader. So if you have textbooks or books that are in Amazon.com and you want to purchase those, you can read them on Kindle Cloud Reader. I uh, installed this extension on this Chrome web browser and obviously you can see I have all sorts of books on here that I can read and look through. I can go ahead and highlight the reading as I go along. I can also go ahead and add a note as well. Next app, Pixlr. I think this one is super handy pretty powerful. Again, you can just add this to your Chromebook. This is a photo editing website. So you just type in pixlr.com or you can have a little icon installed from the Chrome Web Store on your app menu. There are several different uh, views that you can pick. So there's the advanced view which looks very similar to Photoshop. So I can go ahead and upload an image here right and all sorts of tools uh, filters uh, a lot of things here that you can play with so if you're really into uh, photo editing and that sort of thing you can change image size sizes here as well if you want to make uh, photos a little bit smaller or what have you of course you also notice that there was a an efficient mode right so it's a little bit of a simpler deal where I can go ahead and upload the same image here and then of course I can make all sorts of adjustments really really fast so I'm gonna put a border on it ink what is going on there we go so uh, and I'll apply so all sorts of kind of really simple more on the Instagram vein although I think it has more options than that if I back up again and I go to playful this is the playful view alright so you may have seen this kind of app on smartphones or phones or whatever so I will go ahead and upload yet the same picture and you can just really quick add effects to this thing yes it's in an old school developing bin um, you can go ahead and play with different filters down here and uh, what have you. So, a lot of fun to play with that. That's Pixlr. If I come back to this and we go to Evernote, this is a note-taking app or web service and I think it's really handy when you mesh it with Evernote clearly. Right now I am in Evernote, so on the left-hand side here you can see you can set up different notebooks. So I set one up for history class. Uh, but you know, pretty straightforward. You can go ahead and you know you can hit start a new note and take class notes here. There are some formatting options up here. You can actually make a to-do list as well and set up reminders uh, to you know complete these to-dos as well. So that's kind of a nice feature. The nice thing about Evernote as well is you can install it on your smartphone as well as your Chromebook and on a home computer and you can access the same notes from anywhere so it's really powerful in that sense as well you can obviously attach documents to this now what is nice about clearly is that you can integrate these two things together so let's say that I went to Gale one of our search engines at Wheaton Academy great search engine and I went and found a uh, article on wildlife refuge drilling because we're talking about that current event I can go ahead and click this little button called clearly and it will view the page in clearly and you can see I can read it more clearly. This is the regular web view but when I press the clearly button now it's a little bit easier to read it. 
you can go ahead and highlight this as you're reading along so beautiful and then once you're done reading it you can go ahead and clip this and have it put into your notebook all right so this actually got sent to the instructional technology notebook right, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense but I'll go back to Evernote here and there's the article right here so I'm just going to drag that into my history class and now there's the article right there so again kind of a nice way to kind of clip stuff from the web and put it in a notebook folder another quick way to view something in clearly is if I just right click there'll be an option there clearly that can go ahead and view uh, the article and so instead of coming up here to the button the other app that goes along with Evernote that you might like better than clearly is uh, the Evernote web clipper so uh, if you I click the little elephant here in the right hand corner what is nice about this I can choose exactly which uh, notebook it's going to go into and then I can add tags to that so if I want to search through all the stuff in my Evernote account I can do that you can even add comments to the article this is a great article for my paper to attach to, to it when it's saved in Evernote if I click over here I can save just the article which is selected I can save the full page which would include the pictures and everything like that or I can just save the URL. If you have a PDF or email open or you've selected something on the page, you can choose those options as well. So I'm just going to do the article. I can go ahead and click clip article over here. I can move the selection with those arrows. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And so now when I come over here to history class, I can see the article right here. And I actually can kind of go through here, highlight, just by changing the color of the font if I want to do something like that. So that's another little extension you can get in the web store called Clip to Evernote or Ever, Evernote Web Clipper. PDF Zen or PDF Escape, these are two options out there to annotate a PDF online so you can draw on it add text to it and that sort of thing so you know some students like this some students don't like it I've had I've had both so you can go ahead and look at that so again PDF escape and PDF Zen these are free and you simply upload the PDF to the website and go ahead and annotate and save a version of that PDF Zen integrates with Google Drive which is kind of a nice thing another app that think will be useful for some of you. It's called Audio Tool. This is an online music garage band type of program. So I have no idea what's going on in this picture here. I'm not even going to try to explain it to you. But for you musicians out there, or if you want to make recordings or what have you, this is one possibility to explore. If any of you find something that you think is really, really handy and useful, please let me know. I'll tweet out through the one instructional uh, Twitter account recommendations that you guys have and of course I'll keep you in the loop as well with anything that I discover and read about so hopefully that's helpful hopefully it gives you some tools to play with so that you can use your Chromebook even more productively have a fantastic day